Hi! So in this video I will talk about the harmonic implementations of the symmetric dominant scale. So the symmetric dominant scale goes like this. C to D flat to E flat to F flat to G flat G natural A and B flat or you can see it as half step whole step half step whole step half step whole step half step half whole half whole half whole this scale also contains two diminished 7 chords and the first one is C, E flat, G flat and A so the C diminished 7 chord G flat A, the C diminished seven chord. And if you go up half a step, we have D flat, F flat, G natural, and B flat. And here we have the D flat diminished seven chord. D flat diminished seven chord. On top of this, this scale contains different dominant seven chords. The first one is C, F flat, which is E natural and harmonically, G and B flat. So the C7 chord. C7 chord. If we go minor third up to E flat, look what we have. E flat, G, B flat, and D flat. We have the E flat 7 chord. And if we go another minor third up to G flat, so we have the G flat. B flat, D flat, and F flat, the G flat 7 chord. And if we go another minor third up to A, we have the A, D flat, which is C sharp and harmonically, right? F flat, which is E natural and harmonically, and G. So we have the A7 chord. So the idea is basically to create a C7 chord out of these two diminished 7 chords. And, of course, to create an E-flat 7 chord and a G-flat 7 chord and an A7 out of these two diminished chords. And it's simple, it goes like this. Let's start from the C7 chord. So, what's the third of the C7? E, right? E. Let's build up a diminished 7 chord diminished 7 chord from the note E 
right? This is what we got. E, G, B flat and D flat, which is the first inversion of D flat diminished seven chord. And on top of it, I'm putting another diminished seven chord, but starting from E flat. E flat, G flat, A and C, which creates, look, the C diminished seven chord in first inversion. Right? So together it will sound like this. And if you want to analyze it, it's written here. It starts with the third of the C7, five of C7, flat seven, flat nine, right? And then the E flat is sharp nine, the G flat is sharp 11, the A is the 13th of the C7, and then up there the root. Now, the C7 is the 5 of F, so it wants to resolve to F. So let's resolve this chord to F. It will sound like this. Or I can resolve it to the F minor, and then it will sound like this. Right? Now, let's go to the other chord, to the E flat 7 chord, and let's do the same thing. What's the third of E flat 7? It's G. So let's build up a diminished 7 chord up from G. Look what we got, the second inversion of the D flat, of the D flat diminished 7 chord. And on top of it, I'm putting the second inversion of the C diminished 7 chord. Together it will sound like this. Now the E flat 7 chord is the 5 of A flat, so it wants to resolve to A flat. So let's hear it. Oh, I can resolve it to the minor, to A flat minor, and this will sound like this. Let's go another minor third up. What's the third of G flat 7? The third is B flat. There you go. A diminished 7 chord up from B flat. What we received, we have here. This is the third inversion of the D flat. Diminished 7 chord. And on top of it, I'm adding the third inversion of the C diminished 7 chord. Together it sounds like this. The G flat 7, of course, is the 5 of C flat, so it wants to resolve to C flat. So this will sound like this. can resolve it to the C-flat minor, and this will sound like this. Right, and if we take the same thing up a minor third, we have the A7 chord. And this goes like this, what's the third of A7? C-sharp, right? So let's build up a C sharp and a C sharp diminished 7. What we have? The D flat diminished 7. C sharp and D flat, it's anharmonically, right? Anharmonic notes. So we have the D flat diminished 7, and on top of it, the C diminished 7. And together it sounds like this. Right? 
Now the A7 of course is the 5 of D, so we want to resolve it to D. And this sounds like this. Or to D minor, and this will sound like this. And this is the harmonic implementations of the symmetric dominant scale.